Hey. Stop How's it going? Pulling me apart. Let's get into some traffic jams. Stop These are the songs that are going to make that moment when someone's honking at you on the highway you and you're thinking like, what the heck, man? I didn't do any... And then you realize that your lights are off. Just slightly less embarrassing. This week we're listening to the sultry sounds of Hannah Georges. She was born and raised in Newmarket, Ontario, but packed her bags and headed out to Victoria, B.C. the second she was old enough to, and she still lives out there and makes all this beautiful music out there too. Today we're listening to her newest album, All That Emotion. It came out in 2020, and as the name implies, it is very emotional. So make sure you have a box of Kleenex handy when you listen to this album, or that you have an onion and a cutting board and a knife handy, so that if someone walks into the room and sees you crying, you can say, I wasn't crying because I was listening to Hannah George's. I was crying because I was cutting onions. And then you can stab them so they don't talk. But it's not all sad. It's all powerful and easy to listen to. In fact, it's so easy to listen to that I'd recommend it to literally anybody. Every time I put this album on, I can just feel my body go. You're probably feeling it already, just hearing it in the background. I'd never stab somebody. And then talk about it on the show. There's just this instant sense of calmness. Normally, I'm just on and on about, you know, the drums are so cool and, like, the guitarist shreds and da-da-da, but this album is just good songwriting. And the production's there, too, but now that I think of it, I'm not sure many of the songs even have drums on them. And you don't want drums on them. Her voice is so gorgeous. Or should I say gorgeous? <laughs> the drums would just get in the way. She's the Canadian Regina Spector. Let me add that this is not a coincidence. Hannah's been writing and touring and working with some of the biggest artists in Canada for years now. She's got, like, four albums out, I think, a bunch of singles and EPs, and all that really accumulates to is just evidence that she's been doing the work, you know, putting in the hours. So why not go support her, check out the tunes, keep your eyes on her, and obviously come back for another episode of Traffic Jams next week. I'll see you then.